I'll show you mine. But I won't tell you about it because today we are diving into the art of show. Shh, but don't tell. Because, let's face it, no one comes to LinkedIn to read a novel. Think about your last LinkedIn post or your last several LinkedIn posts. Did you paint a picture that people could see and feel or was it more like a handwritten grocery list? For show and don't tell, here's what you do. You gotta tickle their brain. You can't just spoon feed them. So you're probably asking John, how does show and don't tell work? And I guess I can explain it by saying it's like a movie trailer for your professional life. It keeps people wanting more. People remember your stories. They do not remember your statements. Think of it this way. When you were a kid, do you remember your parents' bullet points that they, they said to you at bedtime? Or do you remember the stories they read to you at bedtime? Show and don't tell turns your posts into conversation starters and not listed monologues. Well then, John, how do I actually apply show and don't tell? Okay, let's, let's go for an example. Let's say you, you have a project. Well, don't announce it. Share a behind-the-scenes glimpse of, of what you're doing, the chaos, the coffee, your eureka moment, or talking about your company culture. Scrap the whole... We value teamwork. Show people the epic team building fail that actually made your team come together. Bonus points if it involves a trust fall. You can even discuss a tough challenge because those are relatable. Share the gritty details, not just the shiny outcome. Let everyone feel the struggle, the sweat, the sweet, sweet victory. And with that, my fellow misfits, I will ask you to stop with the bullet-pointed data dumps. Embrace storytelling. Engage your audience like a cliffhanger. Leave them lingering on every word, eagerly waiting for what's about to come next. And the best way you can do that is to comment your most engaging story down below. I can't wait to read them, and I'm sure everyone else wants to read them as well. Because, again, we all love stories. But until then, thank you all for stopping by, and have a great day. Bye.